Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony A9 Mark II and Sony A7R IV. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony A9 Mark II and the Sony A7R IV are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 3rd of October 2019 and the 16th of July 2019. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony A9 Mark II. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7R IV. For portrait photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony A9 Mark II and the Sony A7R IV. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony A9 Mark II. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A7R IV. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A9 Mark II. I recently purchased a used Sony Alpha II from Amazon for a great deal. The camera is like new and has 3K clicks. I also have a Sony Alpha A9 II and A7R IV after previously owning Nikon cameras. I found that Nikon autofocus wasn't the best, but the 105mm 1.4 Nikkor lens works perfectly with the Sony body using the VILTROX adapter. Overall, I'm happy with my Sony cameras and the compatibility with Nikon lenses. This camera is fast, reliable, and efficient. It's the best camera I've ever owned. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7R IV. I have both the A7R IV and the A90 cameras. The A7R IV is not great for low light, but with a prime lens 1.4, it produces great shots. However, with a 2.8 lens, there is noticeable grain. The A90 is better for professional use offering high ISO and minimal noise, making it perfect for low-light photojournalism and sports. Both I have owned every A7R camera from Sony, including the A7 RIV. The 60-megapixel sensor on the A7 RIV is a significant improvement in image quality, allowing for better sharpness and cropping flexibility. The autofocus, battery life, and IBIS stabilization are all excellent. However, there are drawbacks such as slower processing speed, reduced dynamic range in compressed RAW mode and limitations for action photography. Overall, it's a great camera for studio and landscape work, but may not be the best choice for fast action photography. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony A9 Mark II. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Sony A7R IV. We will give it an overall rating of 10 out of 10.